How's it going, everybody? Sean Allen here. Another day, another vlog. Guess what? I am back at Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of LA. In this video, we are going to be looking at the different attractions that have a test seat. Now, in case you wanted to know what a test seat is, well, you'll find out in this video. This is for your safety and for your comfort when you're on the ride. If you're going to be going on Secret Life of Pets off the leash, there is a test seat for this attraction. Now, this particular ride vehicle is super slow. Think of it as like the Haunted Mansion, like the Doom Buggy, but it's not haunted. It's a lot of fun with animatronic characters and large sets. But the vehicle is very slow moving, less than five miles an hour, but it still requires a test seat. The test seat is just located outside of the attraction on the left hand side. As you see, this is the actual ride vehicle that you'll be sitting in. It's a two-seater, and the restraints move forward towards your lap. As it says on the sign, this ride employs restraints, which may restrict certain guests from riding due to their body shape and size. Please use this test seat to ensure your ability to ride. So once again, this test seat is just located outside of the attraction on the left. We're gonna head into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because there are test seats here at their two main attractions. At Flight of the Hippogriff, there is a test seat that is located just to the left of the main entrance to the ride. This attraction is a junior roller coaster. As you can see, the restraints will come inward towards your lap, like so. Again, there is a sign just above the test seat saying, test this seat before riding. This is for your safety and comfort. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is one of the more intense attractions here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Thus, it does require a test seat. The first test seat is located just to the right of the entrance to the ride. Now, this particular test seat has only two seats, when in reality, the actual ride vehicle has four seats. The vehicle itself is about 15 feet above the ground, and it requires this mechanism in order for you to ride safely. The restraint comes down towards the chest and must lock in place in order for you to ride safely and comfortably. There are two more test seats inside the castle. One is just outside by the greenhouse, but it's only a one-seater. Only one person can be in the seat per time. And the second test seat is just located inside of the attraction, just before you see the sorting hat. I know it's kind of dark to see, but it's right there. We're now heading down to the lower lot because there are a couple of test seats downstairs. The Revenge of the Mummy attraction is a fast-paced, intense roller coaster which goes forwards and backwards. This attraction does require a test seat. The test seat is located just as you enter the main entrance to the Revenge of the Mummy. As you can see, one seat has a restraint, the other one does not. Since this is a roller coaster, the restraints move forward towards your waist. If you're heading to Super Nintendo World, the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge attraction does have a test seat. And here it is. This is the Mario Kart test seat. It's just one seat, but the right vehicle seats four. Now, this isn't a roller coaster. It is a simulator where you're going to be playing literally the Mario Kart game. And the restraint comes inward, like so, towards your waist. If you are looking for this test seat, it's going to be located just to the right of the green pipe. Alrighty, well I'm here in the land, let's go ahead and collect a few coins. And that about does it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video. All right, thank you so much for watching. In scene, as they say in Hollywood, I am at Hollywood, Universal Studios Hollywood. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. 
Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications as to when a new video will be posted onto this channel. To see more, check out my other channels, the Educational Series, the Design Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. To stay connected, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching.